so yesterday I was uh, at the Forest of Dean on the all over conquering uh, Saracen Aerial LT. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm the rider. Um, but I think I might have bottomed out uh, a couple of times on some uh, drop offs. And I think these drop offs were probably about four foot, which, yeah, okay, you would you basically expect. But I want to check the suspension out now. Um, the thing I have on this bike is uh, I've got a couple of shock whizzes. Uh, there's the other one there on my uh, exterior shock. Um, now what these do is, as you ride on the rest of it, they basically monitor pressure and um, determine um, suspension recommendations. So what I'm going to do is just uh, fire up those sensors, fire up my phone, and uh, we'll see what uh, what they say. So I'm not quite sure how in focus or viewable my, my phone is. But we'll uh, we'll give this a go. So yeah, piss off. Um, first of all, we're gonna I've renamed I've named my uh, shocks front shock rear shock just to make things easier. So I know which one's which. So the rear shock, and um, the tuning score is sixty eight percent. So it wants me to ride more rock gardens and routes. But it's ninety nine percent confident that it's got some suggestions. And as I sort of suspected, to be honest with this one, it wants me to add more air. So it's uh, at least a 10% change. So um, in terms of where I was, we're at 212. So you need to add another 10%. So we'll say 21, 22 PSI on top, which uh, brings me to uh, 233, uh, 234 uh, PSI, which I'll, I'll do in a moment and then uh, we'll reset. So we'll connect to the front shock. Um, Front shock reckons it's all good, you know, it's 100% confident on its suggestions and uh, it wants me to add a spacer. So, um, yeah, one spacer. Um, so I have to basically dig into my tool chest and, and see if I've got uh, if I've got any spacers. But, you know, in terms of the what I thought it might be, I thought it might need a bit more air or you know, it want, it, I could adjust the low speed the high speed and, and low speed compression which would have also helped in that uh, that ramp up uh, yesterday but you know to be fair um we'll probably just add a spring uh, 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 an air um token and we'll call it done and in this uh, app you're supposed to work from top to bottom so basically the next one down is add a spacer on this one whereby on the uh, the rear shock, look at the suggestions. You know, the next, these ones, yeah, they could all potentially need adjusting, but the first one I'd do is um, is add air. Um, once you've done adjustments, you always reset, go out again, jobs are good. Actually, I need to change the battery, it looks like, on the rear shock. Um, on these uh, shock whizzes, always buy decent branded batteries. They're a bit funny if you put cheap ones in. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make those adjustments now, reset it and, uh, you know, uh, we'll collect more data next time uh, I go out on this bike.